talking about it all day. The Chihuahua's second season in the borderland getting underway today in the ballpark. Gorgeous as always, but have you ever wondered what it takes to get Southwest University Park ready for opening day and the rest of the season? Well, Luke Lydon tells us it's not easy. The track is oftentimes an afterthought um, and it shouldn't be. Andy Bags has been working within the game of baseball for 15 years and has been part of a grounds crew for 10 years. He's now in charge of maintaining Southwest University Park. Uh, this time of year is the hardest time of the year to get the grass where you want it. So it takes a lot, you know, it's just a lot of hard work and tender love and care. To work like it's still the first game ever. You know, we, we have to take care of this and nurture this and be creative every day and work like every time someone's here, it's their first visit. We spend most of our time here on the dirt more so than anything because that's what the game's played on. Safety and consistency, that's what I want. I want the ground ball to roll the same for these guys every time. 300 hours of work probably or something, at least. Beggs and his grounds crew of five are responsible to have the entire field in near perfect condition, not only for opening day, but every home game of the long season. That's seven clay surfaces and then the infield and the warning track, so it's a lot of dirt. New additions to the park are fans to stay cool, a San Diego Padres sign in the outfield, which is the Chihuahua's major league affiliate, and a sign showing off the big doghouse. Whether the Chihuahuas win or lose, Beggs wouldn't trade it for anything else. You have to water it or it doesn't, doesn't work, you know? Whether you're working a World Series or whether you're working a, a Tuesday game, uh, we approach it the same way because what matters is, like I said, the playability for the players. That doesn't change every day. And that was Luke Lidden reporting. We'll be right back.